Free game thoughts, Padres and the Guardians, the series opener tonight. Tanner Bibby on the mound for the Guardians. Joe Musgrove on the mound for the Padres. Tanner Bibby, his last time out, I believe he went five innings, gave up a run. I don't know a ton about him, so I'm not going to act like I do. Uh, Joe Musgrove, he's been pitching much better. Pitching like the Joe Musgrove we expected. Uh, obviously, he dealt with injuries this year. He had the fractured toe and then the grass incident with his feet. So he's had less time than he has wanted on the field actually improving in between starts. But now, since the injuries seem like they're behind him, he's had more time to prepare in between starts. So hopefully we continue to see a better Joe Musgrove. And the underdog fantasy strikeout number for Joe today, five strikeouts. I'm tempted to go higher, but the Guardians don't strike out very much. So I'm not even going to touch that one. I'm going to go Manny Machado. I'm going to go higher than half a single. I believe it's half a single. I'm going to go higher on that. He is coming off a pretty good series with the Rockies. He's playing much better. Uh, now, not still Manny Machado MVP level like last year, but he's playing much better than where he was before, or how he was playing before he went on the IL. So I'm going to go Manny tonight. He's obviously in the lineup. It's pretty much a lineup as you would expect. Gary Sanchez is in there. Matt Carpenter is in there. Nelson Cruz, he is activated today off of the IL. No official move as of yet, but I would expect it to be Alfonso Rivas or Brandon Dixon, but I would expect it to be Rivas. He hasn't really played a whole lot. And uh, Dixon, he can play the infield, can play the outfield. And I don't think he's been that bad uh, in the time that he's had at the big league level since last being called up. So I think they'll go with Rivas being sent down. With Cruz, I mean, it's it's another bat. We'll see if the time off helped him because he really struggled before going on the IL. And so maybe this is his last time, his last chance here. Maybe Padres give him a few weeks or maybe give him up to the deadline to prove that he should be on this team because if he doesn't, then they can just release him because he's making $1 million. It's not a $30 million AAV contract, right? So we'll see what the Padres can get out of Nelly. Um, I would expect him to, to, to start against lefties when lefties are on the mound. Not every time, but when lefties are on the mound, I'd expect him to start. But if Nola's behind the plate, then I don't expect Nelly to start because Gary Sanchez will probably be DHing. So we'll see how much playing time he gets. Not in the lineup tonight. Uh, bullpen. It's been reset, obviously, with the day off. So Josh Hader should be able to go today. Uh, and the rest of the bullpen should be able to go today. Hopefully, Joe can give the Padres six quality innings, then hand it off to the bullpen. Uh, and like I said on my show earlier today, the Padres should win this series. They're the better team. I know they have the same record, but they're the better team. They have a better offense. And the starters that are going out there, Musgrove, Waka, Darvish, those guys, the way they've been pitching, should put the Padres in position to win all of these games. So it's up to the offense again. We'll see what they can do. Runners in scoring position, those problems have not been fixed. We saw those last couple games against Colorado, one for 12 on Saturday, I think one for seven with runners in scoring position on Sunday. It needs to get better. They're not going to go overhaul this roster. It's mostly the, the same group of guys here. So are they going to change? Are they going to be better? Or are they not? And if the answer is no, they're not going to be better, then we'll see if the Padres make the postseason. Uh, I still believe in the team, obviously. Uh, Post-game reactions uh, after the game, after the games of this series, like always. And let me know your thoughts on what you think is going to happen tonight in the comments.